Hi, everybody. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Bill Crawford. I'm a psychologist. I'm a speaker, corporate trainer, life coach. Had the pleasure of writing four books and doing two PBS specials. And this is another in a series of short videos that I'm creating that are designed to help you bring more clarity, confidence, and creativity to every aspect of your life. Because this is being recorded on Father's Day weekend, 2012, I thought it might be a good opportunity to just reflect on the concept of what it's like being a father. I'll share some experiences of growing up with my father and hopefully give us some pointers, some ways of moving forward in a way that, again, not only brings clarity, confidence, and creativity to our life, but to the lives of those we love. I'm entitling this video, Remembering the Face of My Father. And that's a phrase from a series of Stephen King novels, believe it or not, that talks about remembering the moral compass that you learned as you were growing up. Hopefully you had a father or a parent that gave you that sense of moral compass. And the more we remember the face of our father or our mother, the more we can remember what we were taught in a way that serves us and allows us to go forward. As for many of you remember, if you've uh, heard my uh, presentations or read any of my books, my father was actually a recovering alcoholic. He had been drinking 22 of the 25 years before I was born, and he had stopped drinking three years before I was born. He was very, very active in AA. I mean, very active in AA. If you looked up Alcoholics Anonymous in the Kilgore, Texas phone book, you found our home phone number which means my dad was always going out on 12-step calls, doing AA presentations, very active in that. Much more active in that, frankly, than he was in his home life. And so what I wanted to do is to grow up and be the kind of father that certainly reached out and helped others, but also was very connected to my kids and my home life. Luckily, I kind of became a father late in life, so I was able to bring that little bit of sense of maturity to that, and I hope I've done a good job. Only my kids can let me know that. But I wanted to share with you how fathers can be influential. See, when I was growing up, I had no clue that what my father and mother were doing was going to influence my life. I was just growing, you know, playing around, being a kid, watching them do AA, but really not knowing how much I was being influenced. And then, when I got into psychology, started writing books, became a psychologist, I was about to publish my first book. And right before I published the book, I found a letter that had been written from my father to a local East Texas newspaper about his philosophy, how it relates to Alcoholics Anonymous, and how it relates to life. I was blown away by how closely his philosophy of life now is reflected in my philosophy of life. So hopefully this is me remembering the face of my father. I wanted to bring, uh, read you that letter because I think you'll find what I did, the, the, the concept of how meaningful it was. It says, uh, the title of it is, Alcoholics Anonymous is a Force in Molding Lives by Burton Crawford. That's my dad. Um, editor's note, this is the last of a brief daily articles written by a local member of Alcoholics Anonymous, Burton Crawford. Now, do you notice the <laughs> irony here? Alcoholics Anonymous, Burton Crawford. So he was pretty much right out there with it. Uh, Burton will be speaking at the Loyal Men's Bible Class at the First Christian Church Sunday at 9.45 a.m. Here's the letter. One of the most important lessons we learn in Alcoholics Anonymous is that whatever comes to us in the way of happiness or unhappiness health or sickness, abundance or lack, we attract by our own consciousness. Now remember, this was 1953. The whole law of attraction and uh, you know, think and grow rich has never, had never even been uh, talked about yet. When things go wrong, the human tendency is to place the blame on circumstances or luck. But the real truth is that we have gone wrong somewhere in our thinking about life. With most of us, the transformation of our thoughts about ourselves in life is not an immediate but gradual process, for the habits of years are not easily changed in the twinkling of an eye. This apparently slow process brings discouragement and the inclination to give up to many beginners in AA, for appearances, appearances rarely change overnight. But each victory gained, 
however small, is a step toward the goal of a richer, happier, more satisfying life. Each time we replace an unloving thought with a loving one, we are building a consciousness of love into our life. Each time we replace a thought of fear, of fear or doubt with one of faith and confidence, we are changing the pattern of our life. Each time we affirm health and abundance instead of talking sickness and lack, we are becoming firmly established in the consciousness of life and riches. A heart that is filled with love expresses this love and expresses this love in kindness, consideration, and tolerance toward all attracts a loving, happy experience. Consciousness, consciousness that is filled with thoughts of life and strength and vitality brings into manifestation a strong, healthy body. A mind that acknowledges the everywhere presence of God establishes prosperity and order in outer affairs. The purpose of our 24-hour program in Alcoholics Anonymous is to give us at least one constructive thought each day on which to build our life. Each time we manage to replace one negative thought with an affirmative one, we make an important advance in our spiritual growth. To build constructive, uplifting ideas into our consciousness is like mastering a subject by daily study. Attainment may seem far away at first, but each day's application brings its reward, and sometimes gradually and sometimes suddenly we realize that we've achieved our goal. The power to transform our lives lies within us. The Spirit of God is within us to uphold us and sustain us. As we work through Him, the, word is made, the, world, the way is made clear and easy for us. We are assured of continual growth and life is transformed and blessed. Now, what was fascinating about my experience with Dad is because he was so engaged with people in AA, he wasn't as engaged, as I said, with us at home, Mom and me. And yet, I now see that what he was doing in life was probably the best he could. Remember, he had been drinking for 22 of those 25 years. This was a brand new experience for him. And so it probably took every being of his fiber to stay on that path, and helping others was a big way in doing that. Do I wish he had told me he loved me more? Yes. Do I wish he had been there for me? Come to see some of my performances? Yes. However, what we have to do is take what we can from the past and recognize that everybody on the planet has a brain stem, everybody on the planet has a ne neocortex. And so when our parents were coming from their neocortex, we want to hold on to that memory and remember the face of our father. And then we want to take that forward into our lives. Our kids need to hear that we love them, not just to know that we love them, but to know that they are lovable, know that they are worthy of our love. This is where self-confidence comes from. This is where the ability to move forward in a way that is meaningful comes from. So be careful, full of care, about being the one that's always pointing out your child's mistakes so that they can, can correct them. Instead, you want to also make sure you are at the very least balancing that with affirmations of their worth and your love because that will have them remembering the face of their father in a way that allows them to take that memory forward to their children and their children's children and generations to come. I hope this has been meaningful. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And for everyone out there, I hope this has been something that you can take forward and use. Here is to you bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity, compassion to everything you do. And I'll see you in the next video.